commercial series I'm making in Blender. So in part one we made the basic shape of the bottle so if you haven't already checked out that tutorial make sure to check it out. So this is part two of this series and I'll be showing you how to get the textures right. So I'll be showing you how to get the glass texture but most importantly I'll be showing you how to add the logo of the company which is a Tuskers logo right now and, and I'll be showing you how to place it directly onto the glass texture. So if you don't want to miss out on future tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and the notification button. So let's get on with the video. First, what we're going to want to do is go into the render properties over here and change the render engine to cycles. So now over here, this is kind of important for the device. If you have a GPU, choose GPU because a GPU is usually faster than a CPU at rendering. But if you don't have a GPU, choose CPU. Okay, so first to add the base shading, we're going to want to go to shading over here. Go into object if it's not there already and add a new shader. And we're going to name this glass. So now with glass, um, the glass shader, as you can see, we have the principal BSDF. But we do not want that. And what we do want is a glass BSDF. So we're going to search up glass BSDF. Plug in the BSDF to surface. And now we've created what looks like a mirror, but that's just because we're in the render. We import shading properties over here. So now we want to duplicate this and we're going to name this logo with glass. And then this is where we're going to put the logo. So to do that, we're going to use a mix RGB node. So search up mix RGB. I'm going to plug in the color into the color. Add another node, the image texture node. Plug in color into the bottom one. Make sure you do that. Alpha into factor. There we go. So now um, we're gonna open up the um, logo image, which I'll put in the link below. So for me, that would be this one. Okay, so now as you can see, it is overlaying on the glass texture, but we don't want it to be all over the place. So first we have an uh, issue we need to fix. So if you go into the view layout over here, we go into edit mode by pressing tab. We can see that some edges are kind of overlapping into themselves over here. We want to fix that because then if we do add the textures, it's going to well, make the texture overlap itself. So to fix that, we're going to add a loop cut, move it all the way down. Add another loop cut, move it all the way up. And we've got this. Now if we go into UV editing over here, and we're gonna um, see which way we need to add the whole texture. So first, just go into Y axis over here, go into face select mode and choose the front faces only. And right now it looks like a line, so we can't really fit it into the image. And so to do that, press U to unwrap and click unwrap. Okay, so over here, hold, pressing A, we'll choose everything. We're gonna move it on the X axis until it's around the middle. And we're gonna rotate it on the 90 degrees and just move it on the x-axis until it's kind of in the middle. So if we go to the texture thingy over here, now we can see that it has the logo up here. But at the same time, it has the logo over here as well. And we wanna fix that. To fix that, we're gonna press Control i to choose all the other faces, go into the shading part, I remember how we created glass shader without the logo. That's the one what we're gonna assign. So click new, and we're gonna choose the drop down box over here, and we're gonna choose glass. Now we're gonna press assign. And there we go. We have got another thing. So if I do go into layout and go into render view, we won't be able to see it properly. We'll see the logo, but nothing else. And to fix that, we're gonna go into the shadings part, and we're going to add a environment texture. So go into the world over here, shift A to add a environment texture and download the HDRI, which I'll put in the link below. 
and then open up the HDRI, which will be over here, studio small. Go into layout, and there. So we've gotten better lighting. Okay, so for this logo, I know I've chosen this, but if you have chosen something else other than this, you can. Right now on this logo, it has some issues, as in, um, since it's an invisible lo um, logo or image, it created this checkered pattern. So when you choose a logo, make sure it doesn't have any background in it. So to make it um, look well better, so we don't get these checkered pattern. But even if you do like how I did, um, it will be fine when we do add the liquid inside, because then the liquid will kind of hide the thing. So we've gotten this, and now we want to add one over there as well, up the top where the neck is. So go into the UV editing over here again, and this time we're going to add a loop cut. Just going to bring it up somewhere around there, down here, we're going to add another loop cut. Just going to bring it up like that. So now we're going to go into the face select mode, choose the front faces, you unwrap so now and um, we're gonna go to logo with glass and we're gonna have to assign it just like that and now we're gonna have to open up the image again the logo because so that will be where did it go? over here so now um, we're just gonna move this on the x-axis like we did before and we're just gonna rotate it on the 90 degrees so now we can just scale it down a little until it fits i think i'm we rotated on the wrong axis i think this should be the good one so as you can see it is some over here it's starting to tile so let's just fix that by moving this down and moving this on the y-axis uh, scaling it up just slightly Okay, there we go. So if you're still finding this a little too squished, you can um, move these. So if I just go into wireframe mode, grab the edge select, I can just um, move these edges up and scale them down again. But I'm not going to. I like how they are. So now if I go into this mode, we can see that we've created our logos and the glass texture. Okay, so that was the end of part two of this series. So um, in this series, to sum it up, we just made the basic texturing of the bottle. And in part three, I'll be showing you how to get the liquid, the texture, and I'll be showing you how to make the cap and its texture as well. So um, make sure to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the post notification button. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Uh, uh, uh.